how is this program unique? Well, what we do is we focus not just upon the uh, theoretical side of things, but we also focus on the practical side of things. So people don't only just learn about the theory, they also learn uh, actual applications that people are using today in industry. It combines the learning experience of the Cisco Networking Academy with theory courses in IT security, as well as business and marketing. Students have the option to minor in business and marketing, and graduates of the program are well-rounded individuals with skills in networking, IT security, and in business. So what we like to do is give the students exposure to actually working with the equipment directly. And all of the equipment that they work on is current model. It is using the latest Cisco IOS 15 software. And we also make sure that they're capable of running through the industry certifications such as the CCNA, CCNP, as well as the CCIE theoretical standpoint. So at the end of the program, we hope that these students will be able to challenge for these certifications on their own time. UOIT offers a technology-based learning environment. So technology plays a really important role in how we learn here. We have a couple of different labs that students in our program use. Uh, for the networking part of the program, students have a networking lab that consists of a bunch of different Cisco equipment uh, where they actually get the hands-on experience using that Cisco equipment and configuring it. Uh, we also have a hacker's lab where people can um, use different security software and experiment with different um, security threats uh, in an isolated environment where the uh, threat is minimized to any kind of network. Uh, so it gives students a lot of hands-on experience that they wouldn't normally get in other settings. So we know that the theoretical side of things is important, but as well, equally important, is being able to work with the equipment in a hands-on fashion. There's over 70 student organizations at UOIT, so there really is something going on for everybody. The NetSoc is pretty cool, the Networking Student Society. Uh, it hosts special events like hacking contests and guest speaker series, as well as social events like bowling nights and pub nights. So there's always something happening for students to get involved in. With this lab, the students have developed this networking society called NetSoc. And the students themselves have put together this society in a, in a fashion whereby they can allow the students to uh, perform in certain competitions, become socially interacted with each other, and uh, also feel a little bit more comfortable with what they're doing. We have a, a number of different uh, extracurricular activities that we provide for students here at UOIT. Um, we have a number of external events that students will participate in, uh, namely competitions. So there are uh, networking competitions known as the Net NetRider competition that students will participate in. And we also have Capture the Flag competitions that students will participate in. Uh, so these are external competitions, but we also have internal Capture the Flag competitions. We actually had one this past year. Uh, and we also have a weekly IT security reading group where students get together and discuss state-of-the-art security research over in a relaxed setting over tea. So the networking society themselves are just a cluster of students who realize that it's important to both work together inside of a collaborative environment and uh, we allow them to also work within this lab to do competitions, to learn on their own, and to also socialize. UOIT encourages undergraduate research, so students are given a number of opportunities to engage their professors and participate in exciting research projects on campus. This gives the students the opportunity to take things that they've learned in their courses and apply it to projects that go beyond the scope of, of their normal program. A lot of our students are qualified to work within our own IT services department here at the university. And a lot of our students have actually garnered jobs through the IT department. Uh, further as well, up in the office at the university, particularly in our faculty, the students have the ability to work in that environment as well. Further, uh, we also offer the opportunity for a capstone project in their fourth year, which allows them to go into a business uh, discover what the business is needing and actually go about producing an outline that might assist this business in the future. Further, along with the Net Networking Society students, there are opportunities to gain business experience as well.
In terms of professional accreditations, what our program focuses on is allowing the students to challenge for these industry recognized certifications. So for things like the Cisco Certified Network Associate, also known as the CCNA, the CCNP designation, which is the professional side of things, and as well in their fourth year, they're allowed to take a specialized uh, a program or a specialized item in being able to take the CCIE designation training uh, as well as the CCNA voice. So they gain experience all the way from entry level technicians all the way up to internetwork experts. Uh, now all of the program is focused on being able to introduce the students not just to these industry certifications but to also challenge for these industry certifications on their own merits at the end of the program as well.